Greetings, my fellow Ice Sheet Monsters, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld The First Wendigo, Episode 97, Feng Shui. So I don't necessarily, give, given that we don't have like an insane quantity of stuff in the colony, I don't think it's necessary to min-max the amount of storage space that we have. Uh, I will just have semi-organized shelves. That will be my aim. And to accelerate egg harvest time, Wendy's coming in to, uh, to help out. Oh, no, that was an organ harvest. Works for me. Let's keep doing that. Will the corpses rot? Uh, they might. Some things are beyond my control or my concern. The Wendigo Project isn't about amassing human meat. So it's not something that uh, Wendy cares about. All right, Mass, let's just excise that. You're already woozy from your egg extraction. So might as well. Have you go right back in for more surgery. And it's done. Mitty, what are you waiting on? Oh, Ovum? I don't think I missed anyone in the egg extraction. Uh, we'll wait a minute just to count up the eggs. Again, I think it should be 17. So if I take a look at my prisoners, I have 14 prisoners that are female, so that's 14, 15, 16, 17? Yeah, so we should see 17 eggs in there. Right now I see, yep, yeah, we have 17 eggs, so everyone's done. Uh, other things I need to do is to finish the Frosty Xenoderm, because Frosty punched me, and uh, that will never happen again. The so order implantation into Frosty. Cool. Kick Mitty out of the hospital bed. Sorry, Mitty, then I dropped you twice. Just how it goes sometimes. What is my current wealth? I'll check that in a minute. So I did the math perfectly, and Frosty is a negative, uh, Five. So take a look at Frosty. Frosty got a uh, very fast runner and also dead calm. A little bit uglier, but yeah, that's fine. So being a better runner should be quite helpful. All right, and then the other thing I wanted to do is to make another baby Xenogerm, I think. We just used... The last one for that uh, vet birth. So current wealth. Let's see. Uh, about 430,000. Uh, for now, I'm just going to build the shelves and then... And then eventually uh, I will organize it to have dedicated spots for storage. 
but that's not on first thing, you know. First things first, just get the shelves out. I'm trying to think, who is underrepresented? Maybe what I will do is once low as an adult, I'll have low fertilize these eggs. Frosty is at negative five. Wouldn't it be a good idea to have a nuke stomach? Absolutely. I had meant to do it. That's why I bought the nuclear stomach. So I'm going to do the implantation now. And it wouldn't be a terrible idea for T-Saying to cook out a new nuclear stomach uh, so that we have more when we need it. There we go. Don't eat my food. You can only imagine the amount of power required to run this base. Yeah, it's non-zero. Where did the tox pack sit in it? Um, before I calculate that, what I should do is I should fill the... I should fill the current... Um... Oh, no, you know, they're almost topped up. Uh, so we're at 199. We're basically roughly breaking even. Uh, and that isn't counting really the Pollux trees because Pollux trees have not had added um, pollution in a while. Question. Will the ceiling fall on my head? I don't think so. Maybe this section? Oh, no, there... Uh... Yeah, maybe this section needs a pillar. So I'll be cautious about that. I'll try to, um, I'll try to put in group support in a um, more organized fashion so I don't need more pillars than I have. So I have a lot of extra pillars, I'm sure, at this point. I could also compartmentalize the rooms. There's... That, too, would make a lot of good sense. So I'm trying to think. Brian's it... You are father to Curiosity, who's dead. But you are related to Jack, who's in the vet. Bryce, it's not overrepresented in our genome. So it might not be a terrible idea for Bryza to fertilize some of these eggs. A lot of this became unpowered, which I'll want to fix. But storage is looking pretty good. It's also going to make the workshop more impressive because it shares a larger wall with the um, the jade. Actually, yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, has the silver outside been hauled? No. Not unless the robots have done that without me asking them to. 
There's not a lot of people that come in to try to steal from Wendy and actually survive, so it's not really something I have to worry about too much. Because most people that um, try to steal from Wendy end up dead. And for that reason, it's of little concern to Wendy to keep the, the silver hauled. Because, well, they die. Pretty straightforward. Well, let's get some power up in here, too. Most people have dark vision, but not everybody. And then what we'll start to do is uh, do a little bit of organization for uh, how I'm going to use the this, this shelves in the storage. But I do want more shelves. Okay. Like this. That's probably good enough. If I need more storage, obviously there's extra floor space I can add it. That's a pretty good start to storage. So Frosty, you're in a coma for only one more hour. Not bad. Another thing I'm going to do is to rearrange produ uh, production a little bit, but that comes after the shelves. That's why I've been waiting. Surprise it. You know, maybe I'll start a new line here. I'll have, um, I'll have Wicked's genes implanted into the impids and try to do a Edekin impid cross. Let's see how that works out. Looking oddly tidy, in it? That's another baby xenogerm. Perfect. It's unfortunate that the Mechanator uh, bio stuff can't be moved. It's kind of is where it is, not to be nudged, for better or for worse. Inspired surgery. So the other thing is, the fabrication benches aren't going to move, right? They're sort of stuck there to stay where they currently are. Um, 
So I'm going to rearrange the workshops a little bit around the fabrication benches and the tool cabinets alike. I think... Oh, no, great bows. I think great bow is... Oh, molecular analysis and compact weaponry. Yeah, there's a little bit more. Growth moment for Chimic. Creepy breathing. Uh, that's unfortunate. You're lazy and creepy breathing. You're not off to a good start. How much of the steel is still left down here? Oh, none of it. Copy that. That's a bit eye-opening. Noted. Noted. So there's still silver and uranium to be mined up, but we're going to start to want to deep drill steel. So Wendy. Something else that I've been meaning to do is to try to convert. Oh no, you're converted. Okay, so let's start enslaving you now. You have a will of zero, so basically the moment that uh, Wendy talks to you, you're enslaved. Okay, yeah, you're enslaved. So Kath is allowed to be enslaved because Kath is a baseliner, um, and baseliners can be enslaved. Uh, still, genes regrowing for another two years, so it's going to be a long time before Kath is uh, up and about. But uh, let's do cannibal fine meals for your meals, and no drugs. And then I'll probably, if you're enslaved, want to regrow you, or not regrow you, um... I'll want to, uh, have you have some sort of work. Let's take a look. So you really only have a social passion, uh, but you are a hard worker. But you don't do anything. That's fine. You can haul and clean. I don't really care what you do. So now I'm finally rearranging the workshop. need to run power out to it too uh, but I'll I'll fix the whole dead power issue so let's go ahead and have the tailoring like that and then I'll have dedicated storage for human leather um, and thrombo here those are the two materials that we use most. And then for drugs, I'll put drugs out there. Smelter can be over here. Oh, uh, interaction spot problems. So uh, I have my slag down there. Hmm. Put the smelter here. I might change and move things around. Is uh, Kath going to have some death rest facilities? Uh, yeah, eventually. 
Not, uh, not like a proper chamber like Wendy has. But something. I didn't want to have to bother cutting the blight, so I'm just letting it die off and then I'll plug it back in later. In terms of dead power, uh, let's say there is these circuits will be dead power and then everything else will actually be active power. And it also opens up space for, like, dining, possibly. Next to the steel drug lab, we're also going to want some small... Uh, shelves too. Here we go. Second drone for males. Okay, so the males are going to be pissy. Copy that. So for drug lab, we have nutrimine, cloth, and herbal medicine. I'm not too worried about the decay time of herbal meds. It's long enough that it won't matter. Hey, you're on your feet. Uh, you're also not dressed as a slave. So assignments slave take that stuff off probably means that I need some additional slave clothing so slave collar slave body strap and tribal wear and maybe a toque although vampires can't die of hypothermia but they sure can lose fingers which would be annoying so for the tribal wear we'll do heavy fur the toque we will do bison wool the slave collar can be steel because that doesn't have a temperature tolerance and the body strap can be heavy fur. He's saying I'm waking you up. Mm. All right, you don't get hemogen. Just stay right there. I don't want to have to constantly tell you to move around. And then it also seems like I'm going to need to sacrifice a prisoner in order to maximize suppression again. All right, is that the... Oh, there's one more. He killed off. Perfect. Who needs to cut blight? Now there's enough blood in the um no don't arrest. There's enough blood in the uh in the prison that should be pretty easy to blood feed both. And what isn't doesn't mind sharing. Provided it's not the hemogen packs. Um so these shelves actually would need to be important, not preferred, so that the Materials get shifted over here. Boost that up. Add in another chair or two. How's baby and wife doing? Pretty good. Very busy month we're having, though. 
But good busy, not bad busy, for the most part. Ooh, masterwork. Fancy. Alright, so the mech corpses and slag, I'm gonna move up here. Because the machining table and the, uh, the smelter are, like, right in this spot. That makes more sense. Definitely looks more organized. Uh, so the art bench will be moved to benefit from the... Let's put it like here, and then the stone cutter table can be put there. Uh, for basic subcores, basic subcore encoder, I'll put over here. Doesn't really matter, just out of the way is fine. I think it's time to upgrade some of the highest trafficked doors uh, from regular steel to auto doors. And we have an exotic goods from Inalore coming in. Awesome. I didn't even invite them in. They're just showing up on their own. So, I am... Um, Closing in on getting done with proper storage. I just need to arrange the shelves a little bit more sensibly so I can find things more easily. Uh, but I will soon take additional tasks from you guys. Psychic resistant, UV sensitivity, fat body, cold tolerant. No thanks. Very happy. Oh, that might not be bad to have. Death Rest Serum. Yeah, let's do one more. I don't think I have Skip Shield either. Here's some organs to pay for it. Buy an Insanity Lance. And buy gold. That looks right. Well, now that we have Sanguine, or very happy, um, that might change the equation a bit. I don't think the ceiling collapses with the removal of this pillar. Oh, and there's a bit of a bottleneck here. I was actually planning on moving the mech chargers, like, elsewhere to have a dedicated mech area at some point, but that could be a suggested goal that you guys make it in the future. Now is not the appropriate time to do that, as it's out of scope for the project. All right, so I did say that the um, the frequented doors are going to be upgraded. So I'll just do plasteel auto doors. We have plenty of plasteel and plenty of components. And I don't need to, uh, to build discount doors.
Cactus, that's your set. Well, I guess it is an extreme psychic drone. It is your second uh, psychosis here. Keep my eye on you. Kitchen is another real high traffic area. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, would th this door specifically would benefit from an auto door? Not so much this one though. But it's not going to be plasma steel. It's just going to be railroad steel because it's not an external door that needs to withstand breaches. Okay, cool. Move around a little bit faster. Okay, yeah, there was a collapse. It's small. Uh, I'll just put a pillar here. That means I can get rid of this pillar. That'll work. Uh, so for organized storage, I'm going to start organizing a little bit. I'm going to put dies here next to the style shelf. Oh, Manhunter pack of wards. That's a lot of wards. Uh, mechs behind the walls. Everyone else behind the walls. And then Wendy, you are going to call in uh, some fun Diabolises. See if we can't have the Wargs fight Diabolises for me. I'm going to want to close this door. Oh, Cactus. Uh, I'm going to have to skip him to safety. He's kind of just out there. So Diabolus is now summoned. Should be coming in soon. Uh, I think Mass is going to be the last one in the walls. Well, probably uh, Cactus. If I have to suck Cat, well, you know, we'll see. I was going to say suck his blood until he goes unconscious, but uh, maybe that's not, not going to be necessary. Close this door. I can just start skipping Cactus somewhere safer. Oh, look, you're deciding to be safer. All right, you're probably far enough away from the uh, danger areas that you're not going to succumb to wargs now. And if you do, uh, I have a long history of replacing my... Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I have a long history of replacing my, uh, my miners anyway. So worst case scenario, you just join everybody else that has mined for this colony and died. So the Inalor people are leaving. Probably a wise idea, given that there are 47 wargs on the map tile. And now, there's basically no chance of Cactus going somewhere where you shouldn't be. Shred Hostile Mechanoid. And then another Shred Mechanoid, which is going to be Urchins. Friendly Urchins. There we go. So I have some urchin corpses. So Kath, you currently sleep in the hospital. That's probably not a good long-term solution. Uh, the other thing I need in here is building storage. So preferred for buildings. 
because obviously buildings can't be stored on uh, shelves. All right, so for additional organization, I'm gonna put silver, put silver in the middle. And then near where this smelter is, I'll put steel. In this corner, I will have leftover textiles. Over here will be blocks in the back. And then we'll uh, In these, I'll put uh, clothing, apparel, and utility. Oh, utilities included. And see how the organization looks uh, once that has time to be sorted. I was also going to have a second layer of uh, shelves for additional plasteel components. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to have two shelves of components, but I'm going to put them in anyway. see how that sorts. I think the Archite Implanter could be over here. The Archite Capsule with where the Xenodrums are stored. That doesn't need to be over here. Cool. Have a shelf close to the fabrication benches for steel. Yep, that was actually one thing that I meant to do that I hadn't done yet, which is uh, put steel here. Oops. Let's click on these shelves. Oh, MIDI got outside. I'm glad I heard the barking. Easy enough to solve. It's because Mitty was hauling in a Sandy Lance and I never rezoned it. There you go. Inside. Stay inside this time. Don't need to be warg food. Seems unnecessary. How fast is Frosty now that uh, you're speedy? Move at five? Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, I could also do another shelf down here uh, for wood, for the dark light braziers, because that's pretty much how I use wood in this colony. So I have a high priority wood shelf. Looking pretty good. Relatively easy to find things now. Um, so I do have block storage indoors, so I'm going to start moving blocks indoors. Uh, this is just tainted apparel, and I'm going to move this tainted apparel closer to the 
uh, closer to where the kitchen kicks it out. Wouldn't be a terrible idea to actually put another door in here as well. That does become frequented often, I suppose. Uh, and then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm opening up viewer suggestions again. So... I'm going to continue to try to organize and build proper storage, uh, but suggest a goal too. So on this, I'm going to do basic cores, basic high and standard sub cores, and then also um, chips. I'm going to put... Um, the chips and cores on this shelf. Because it's right next to the subcore encoder. Kind of makes sense to me. This here can be scrapped. The smeltable taint is going to be moved to over here. I could also put that on a shelf at some point. And that's just like uh, tainted black armor and the stuff like that that needs to get smelted on the smelter. Uh, pretty organized, I think. What is Kath's work priority? I hadn't even, I hadn't even considered that. So, forget child care. And bed rest. Yeah, just haul a craft clean. I don't really, don't really care. Uh, this is looking pretty organized. So the other thing I could do is uh, specific drugs. So I'll put drugs here. No, this was cores. Never mind. I'll put drugs uh, on these shelves. Looks good. Then the herbal meds that uh, don't have space to store elsewhere should go over here. So the two shelves I have specifically for herbal meds, I'll have be critical, but all the other herbal meds can just be lower priority. Did I miss a dog treat redemption? Probably. I don't think my alert noises are working proper today. So, sorry about that. Why is Low a slave again? So, Low um, has. If we open up the show genes, uh, Low actually is a colonist. Um, we'll be emancipated as soon as Low gets out of the vat. Oh, Cactus, you're getting like mighty close to that door there. Can I? I wonder if Beckon works on a broken person. I've tested that before, but I forget. Yep, okay. Follow me if you want to live. It's 
It's probably more effective than uh, skipping, to be honest. Alright, I'm going to beckon him inside. The other thing I could do is to... Well, whatever. As long as you're not dead. Come on. Looks good. Well, I gotta say, it's a lot cleaner now. So thank you for uh, for voting on that. It's easier on the eyes. It's way easier to find things. It looks like my uh, textiles, which is unsurprising, have spilled over. So I have fewer shells for steel, more shells for textiles. All right, I'm gonna pause the redemptions for viewer submitted ideas and uh, pull you guys on it. Build a large freezer. Build bedrooms, barracks. Build a recreation room. Uh, kill apocritons. For waste pack atomizers. Build an armory. Build a mechanator layer. Add auto cannon defenses. And that. Oh, well, hold on. This basically sums up the uh, the ideas that I wanted to use. So refunding the rest of you and vote on what's next. Five minutes. So I don't think there's much more optimization that I can do here. Maybe separating out utility items from clothing, but that's about it. Um, putting a few more shells for the storage, the stone. That looks pretty good to me. I'm sure there's there's plenty of stuff still yet to be hauled, S silver components, etc. That's out there, uh, but we're not going to get at it because of the the wargs for a bit. All right, let's get Kath out of the uh, the the hospital. Oh, Violet, you ran out of power. Rechargers are full. Get back to work. Kitchen's missing a door? Um, no, only the corpse, uh, only the butchery is missing a door. I'll put it in, because, yeah, I don't want wild animals nibbling on those corpses, but it's pretty un it's a pretty unimportant door, strangely enough, given the ambient temperature is always way so cold that, uh, corpse decay is highly unlikely. All right, looking good. Can you imagine accidentally breaking down a uh, large gestator when you're uh, 
gestating a Diabolus. Ouch. Don't do that. Organized storage is more of a relief than you thought it would be. Uh, because I, I took it seriously. And I'd like to pat myself on my own back. And really made some thoughtful decisions about the layout. This is the only thing I don't like. the Where this tailor bench is, but... There's not much I'm going to be doing about that. Unless uh, moving the rechargers becomes a voted goal. And now this shelf is for tainted smeltables. Cool. Let's make sure that it is home zoned. It is. Now there's so little left to build that we can actually repair some of the damaged walls that were damaged ages ago that have been long neglected. And it looks to me like uh, waste pack atomizers for Pakratoning uh, might be the winning choice. Wow, Kath, your bedroom is very impressive. I'm actually going to move t sangs out here. And then put another supercharger in there. You need rescue because of food poisoning. What did you eat? Like, I guess it's fine meals. It's not my problem. Urdugal became a child. Uh, let's postpone that. Urdugal, are you set to be free? You have slow wound healing, so no. You have to be enslaved. They were a uh, a filtered genome baby, if that makes sense to you. If you understand those words. Okay, waste pack apocrytonic. Um, there we go. So that's what I'll do next. Right now we have Diabolus is incoming, so I can't do that until the Diabolus arrives because you only, only take in one at a time. But I will queue up another. Uh, I'll queue up for an apocryton. Especially given that we're heading into summer, uh, when I can call in allies to fight for me. It is a pretty good time to Apocriton, I think. Also looks like my guys are needing some additional rechargers. I have um, mechanoids that are, are collapsing. It wouldn't be terrible to put the uh, small chargers across from the... Well, no, because I could have two layers of uh, atomizers, so I, t I take that back. The atomizers can't move, so maybe I won't do that. I could nest it here. Yeah, I'll, uh, no, but the interaction spot's covered. I could nest it here. I'll do that. One more recharger in this spot. So, I previously thought that the... Uh, that the mechanoids try to avoid other threats on the map tile, but I was actually wrong about that. Uh, Kathanon is a coder that helps out with uh, my series and stuff like that. And he googled, or not googled, he uh, looked up, and it, as it turns out, they just randomly arrive between one and three days with some semblance of idea of queuing so that they won't try to arrive when there's... Um, what was it? Because uh, I think you're in the audience. Uh, merchants or something? Like, they do actively avoid, like, trade caravans, maybe, or something like that. Like, there's a few things they avoid, but not threats. Not traditional threats. So, that's not why they, uh, the Apocritons and every, uh, everything else that have been called in um, have a take issue with, you know, showing up and all that. Peaceful visitors, basically. Trade visitors bestowing. Yeah, that's what they avoid. Not uh, combat. Finally! This 
busted walls getting the attention it needs. Thank you for tuning in to The First Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 12th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Wendigos, 